Step out of the car, please. I said step out of the car. I'm sorry, Murphy. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Go ahead and shock the flat line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody, clear! Officer Alex Murphy, shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. now faster faster come on now you can do it come on faster 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 just a little faster now you can do it why kill yourself to take off what you're just going to put back on there's only one way to lose weight stop eating easier said than done that's why, to shed those excess pounds, 9 out of 10 doctors at Omni Metaplex recommend new no-gain tablets with the miracle of Virilia Mutans Narcosa, or as we call it, VMN, nature's own appetite suppressant. Try it. See for yourself. With no gain, there's no strain, no pain, and best of all, no gain. A new report released today shows homicide on the downswing in Old Detroit. Right, Bo? Right, Rocky. Last month, police in Old Detroit were called in to investigate only 312 murders, down a whopping 5% from this time last year. Nice going, Old Detroit. But it's not all good news on the crime front. Rocky? For the second straight day, Delta City has been rocked by a wave of violence that has city officials scratching their heads. Martina Marks has more. Oh, yes, scratching their heads indeed, Rocky. With me is Dr. Jean Julius of the Omni Research Institute. And Dr. Julius, what's especially troubling is that this violence is taking place right here in Delta City and not in old Detroit, where, well, quite frankly, it might be expected. That's right, Martina. The usual suspects are not involved. According to police records, most of the people arrested have been ordinary citizens with no criminal past and no affinity for violence uh, up to now. Well, what's happening then? I mean, are we all going crazy? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> but there is a kind of collective madness that wells up in societies when stress levels reach their breaking point. Those most affected are, of course, those with the most at stake. The affluent white collar set, the uh, middle class. In a word, or uh, <laughs> in five words to be exact, the people of Delta City. Delta Central is swamped. They asked if we'd take their overflow. Well, what do we do with them? Pitch tents in the parking lot? There's no room, Wilcox. There's no room. I know, Sarge, but, but what? I don't know, Sarge. Well, what next? Sergeant Parks. Sergeant Parks. What? What are you doing here, Madigan? It's your day off, right? Hey, Sarge! In a minute! Detective Madigan is under arrest. Speeding, reckless driving, evading arrest, endangering the public, possession of an impounded vehicle. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, go on into my office. Go on. Madigan. Madigan. Um, 
It's like I told Murphy, I was just at home and suddenly I had to get out, just drive, you know, somewhere, just I had to be doing something, anything. The car's in the garage, so I'd go to the impound lot. I knew it was dumb, but I didn't care. I didn't care about anything. Well, until we get this cleared up, you're on suspension. I've got no choice here, Marion. We'll have to hold you tonight. Whatever. Is she on something? Did you scan her? No illegal substance was indicated. Hey, Sergeant. Excuse me. Now, is this the latest? Where'd you get them? Got a control. Then you got them. Huh. Excuse me. Do you ever notice how guys like that always show up at times like this? He is from corporate headquarters. That's what I mean. What are you doing there? Nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, listen, you little pipsqueak, why don't you take a hike, okay? I live here, you know. Well, what are you, a hamster or something? Come on, out, out, out. Okay, okay, okay. Can you be playing or something? Oh, thank you, that's pleasant. That's really nice. Come on, beat it. She lives here. since codeine candy, bigger. And here's the man of the hour. <laughs> the figures are in for us. Chitterman here came along from distribution with the news. One week of test marketing in Delta City, and no gain shattered every sales record in the book. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, well, you know, I think we still need to uh, fine tune the campaign a little bit, uh, especially before we go nationwide. Uh, perhaps even, uh, Withdraw the product temporarily, sir. Withdraw? No game? <laughs> the public won't stand for it. <laughs> oh, come, come, Frosh. Sometimes we just have to take the old pigskin and run with it. After all, it was your initiative that allowed us to get to market so quickly. Yes. That miracle drug from Arizona. Amazon, yes. Amazon? And it's not a drug. <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually, sir, VMN is extracted from the sap of an orchidus vine. Yeah, whatever. What the point is, it's natural. Oh, yes. We didn't have to concoct it. Oh, no. No, we didn't have to submit it to those busybody bureaucrats at the FDA. No, 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 sir. Test, test, test. That's all they think about over there. And we did test it, sir. Of course we did. Yes, sir. And then we shipped it right out. Sir. That's the American way. That's the OCP way. Yes. Congratulations. Chatham. Chatham. Terminate the distribution of no gain now until further notice. What? You heard the chairman. You're taking orders from me now, remember? But I can't. I can't. Just do what you're told, chairman. You'll be back in that little rat hole you crawled out from. Is that understood? Hmm. Night and lockup gives you a whole new perspective on Metro South. If there's anything I can do. Look, Murphy, you're a good guy, all right, but um, 
You know, don't feel sorry for me, all right? I'm a big girl. No excuses. Something is missing. No, no, I just... That... Here it is. Hi, Nance. Um, you know Robocop, right? Yes. Hello. I love you very much. Nancy's gonna give me right home. Excuse me. I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Nancy, you all right? Um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. Attention, people. Over, over here for a minute, uh, please. Uh, we have a new issue from OCP Security Concepts, uh, the people who sign your paychecks. What's it do, spray away crime? <laughs> uh, very funny, Wilcox. Uh, it's called isoflow, as you can see. It's a silicone concentrate, and when released into the air, it forms a foamy mass that reduces traction to zero percent. You mean it's slippery? Exactly. OCP tests show that it is impossible to maintain footing on an isoflow enhanced surface. Now, this I have in my hand is designed for individual confrontations, and this uh, is for crowd control uh, with an optional range-enhancing nozzle. How do the officers stay up? An excellent question, Sergeant. Uh, these boot sleeves are uh, treated to resist all anti-traction effects. <laughs> Believe me, OCP has thought of everything. Yeah? For whose benefit? For your benefit, Wilcox. And you'll find that out the next time you face a howling mob out there. And you'll be out there with us, right, Lip and Cut? <laughs> well, in spirit, as always. Oh, I, yeah, no, yeah. I, I will. I'm always there. Ah. Ah. Robocop. Do you have your isoflow? What's eating him? Life. What else? how lucky you are I even let you have that holographic thingy. A lot of guys down here wouldn't be so nice with you. Yes, yes, which is why it is such a privilege for me to contribute to your personal pension fund. Yes. Forgive the medieval security arrangements. They've been touchy since Pudface took his leave. Oh, cut the crap, Milardo. We got trouble with the capital T. Trouble, you say? T, you say. Ah! <sighs> I'm sorry. Am I missing something? You didn't miss a thing. You knew this was going to happen all along. You knew what VMN was going to do to those people. You knew, Milardo. Well, if it's the fact that VMN has a mild de-inhibitive effect, that's to be expected. De-inhibiting? It's turning people into homicidal maniacs. And hey, bonus, it's addictive. Slightly, perhaps, yes. I've been running data from the precinct. Every single person nabbed in Delta City in the past two days is taking no gain. Every single one. How are their appetites? You know, it really does work. Look, what I don't understand is why didn't this show up when we tested it? Well, see, we didn't test it much, did we? OCP never does. And then, of course, what was provided for the tests, well, that wasn't exactly what's been going into no game. What? What 
can I say? Mea culpa, mea culpa. I'm a bad man, Frosh. I'm a very bad man, and you should never have trusted me. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Why did I trust you? What the hell was I thinking of? You were thinking career. You were thinking promotion. You were thinking bonus. Yes, yes, and yes. But you were a partner in this, too. You told me you needed money for your lawyers. Money? For my lawyers, indeed. I have to laugh. Would you excuse me? I do. I have to. Excuse me. I have to, I have to laugh. I think I... <laughs> have you any idea who I am? Can you have any notion at all as to the range of my genius? That's a rhetorical question, no need to answer. I tower, Frosh. I loom, I stand like a colossus. What gifts I could bestow upon a world crying out for a savior, and yet, where am I? I'm languishing, ignored, in a boneyard full of castaways and kooks. So, someone must pay. Revenge? Yes! The most profound satisfaction a man can know, and thanks to you and OCP, Delta City is self-destructing even now, and that is only the beginning. It's only the beginning. Today, Delta City, tomorrow... You are insane! That's what they tell me, Frosh. That's what they tell me. Oh, you're so rough. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <clears throat> it's just as we expected. Leave it to me. Listen, sometimes people do things, you know, that, that they don't mean, stupid things. But you wouldn't. I didn't think so either, but I did. And I have to face up to that now. It's not true. I don't believe you. How are those things? Do they work? <laughs> Lost three pounds. Two more and I can fit in that dress you gave me. Two more pounds and you disappear. Look, Lisa, I know it's none of my business, but... Well, I know how much that promotion to detective meant to you. What, you think I'm trying too hard to live up to it? I don't know. I do know that something like that happened to me, after Alex died. I was trying so hard to be strong, I ended up denying my own grief. 
I drove myself crazy. And then when I started to get over it, I felt guilty. You know, it's taken me until now to even think about having a social life again. Dating. Me. Imagine. Eavesdropping? Detective Madigan is in trouble. Well, the fact that your wife is with her has nothing to do with it. No. Okay, okay, you know me, always poking my nose in. I know how much you miss your old life, Murphy. Me, it's different. I never had a life. If only you could experience the world as a woman. That is unlikely. You never know. Listen, Alex, I didn't mean... You are correct. About what? I was eavesdropping. Hey, you're only human. You ignored my instructions, Chairman. I told you I wanted all orders terminated. I told you I couldn't. We have commitments. Screw the commitments. No gain is history. Look, a release goes out today, okay? Uh, due to a report of malicious tampering by unknown persons. All right, every single packet of no gain is being withdrawn. No fuss, no muss, no scandal. Get it, Cheddarman? No. You get it, Frosh. Right between the eyes. What, are you nuts or something? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Cheddarman. I was just a little upset. You know me, I don't really mean what I say. Say your prayers! No, no, no! Whoa. citizens you look at this part and see only pollution i see a natural byproduct of prosperity and progress factories laboratories corporations employing millions of men and women and what about the anti-pollution industry where would they be without pollution hmm? you know bobby he's right again now there's a real american hero Convicted killer William Ray Pudface Morgan remains at large one month after his escape from the Henry Ford Center for the Morally Challenged. Police are baffled by the disappearance of the Stop that! What seems to be the trouble? Help me. They're destroying my store. People, a good citizen always respects the property of others. Hey, 
Now, how often have I told you not to run around in here? This is not a playground most of the time. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. All right, man. You just make sure... Bye. Hey. Bye. Hey. Hey. Who is it? It's me. Let me in. Hi, Gadget. Listen, this is really it not a good time. It wasn't your fault. It's those diet pills. They changed you. They changed everybody. Look. That guy who was sneaking around the station, he knew about it, but he didn't tell anyone. The pills are poison. See? Oh, my God. I knew you wouldn't do nothing wrong. I told you. Sorry. What are you going to do? I am going to start acting like a police officer. Come on. and its contents have been impounded. Any questions? Now that's crowd control. You called, sir? Yes. What are these damn papers you sent me? Your man Frosch compiled them. Are you telling me that no gain did all this? Looks that way to me, Mr. Chairman. Get me Frosch. Get me the spin team. Yes, sir. And turn off that damn sign.
your time. Don't play games with me. It's a trap, isn't it? They're waiting outside. Actually, Frosh, <laughs> we're waiting on the inside. Look, Cheddarman, please don't hurt me, okay? I'll do anything you want, anything you say. I know you will, Frosh. You both will. Good job, Rubble. How did you find out about no game? The order just went out. I had it two and two, Sergeant. Yeah, well, you always were good at math. Come on, you need it. A cop. Detective, no less, huh? From Metro South. <laughs> That's my favorite precinct. <laughs> no game didn't sell too well down your way. I guess the street people don't worry about losing weight, huh? It's only for those rich cats in Delta City to worry about, you know, spending their complete fortune on exercising machines, sweating and torturing themselves just so they can look like the pretty people on TV. <laughs> Women spending all their time in health clubs so that hubby won't run around with the bimbo secretary, huh? That's the beauty of no gain. Get it? OCP sticking it to itself. Not for long. You want to bet? You've only seen the first act, sister. The punchline comes in the second act. That's when Milardo and I take over. Milardo, is he involved in this? Oh yeah, he's helping out. Isn't that right, Frosh? Yeah. Frosh, you don't look so well. Do you want a drink? Here, let me give you some of this swill. Come on. <laughs> Down the hatch. <laughs> oh, a taste of his own medicine. The very pure form of it. Just multiply this by a few millions, and you've got the beauty of no gain. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. What do you think might happen if somebody dropped, say, a couple of tons of that stuff into, say, the Delta City Reservoir. Reservoir? Think of all those innocent people. Nobody's innocent. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry, right on cue. did this to me. I'd face Morgan? Who else? In California, the controversial Beverly Hills Wall continues to rise despite protests. City officials say their new poverty-free environment will not be discriminatory since access to the city will remain open to anyone who can pass the means test. This just in, the chairman of OCP has announced the immediate recall of all packets of Nogain, the company's popular new appetite suppressant. For more, we go to Martina Marks. Dr. Julius, this announcement caught us all by surprise. True. Martina, but, uh, but I am assured that there is nothing for no-gain consumers to be worried about. Uh, this uh, recall is a precautionary move, stemming from an unconfirmed report that a no-gain packet may, I repeat, may have been tampered with. So it's probably just a false alarm. Exactly. Uh, still, the uh, <clears throat> chairman of OCP has decided to... Uh, put the public first. If only more corporations were as caring as OCP, the world would be a safer place to live for all of us. Be careful with that stuff! Wait! Follow me! 
Place that under arrest. Detective Madigan. 